Alright, hey everyone, WanderBots here, and welcome to Lena's Inception. It's, I mean, it's probably fairly obvious based on the sprite work and layouts, but this is an old school Zelda-like, you know, Link to the Past and so on and so forth, with co-op and some other things. Also, neat thing, there's actually two different art styles that you can pull with. Uh, pull with? I don't know. Play with? There we go. Play with, that would be better. Yeah, sorry, brain, words, English, bleh. So super old school, and then... Yeah, so 8 and 32-bit, so ah. Game Boy Color versus uh, Game Boy Advance, give or take. Uh, so obviously we're going to be playing on 32-bit, because I like the detail. But it's kind of neat to have like old and school the graphics. Too. I, I wonder if there's a limited palette for the older one. Probably. And yeah, it does have a CRT effect, which I'm not a big fan of, but whatever. Uh, so interesting also thing about this game, procedural generation, which I don't know, could be bad, could be not, I don't know. I, I like I like it when worlds are hand designed, but as we saw with Crypt of the Necrodancer, it actually works really, really well when done well enough. Uh, it's got local co-op, though I don't know if we get local co-op immediately. We might have to unlock it first. From what I saw, it looked to be the dark Lena, if you will. Yeah. What's and apparently the there's a whole bunch of extra modes here. So three hearts, all dungeons, one dungeon, zero hearts, uh, taking a single hit. Damn. Uh, slightly shorter game without a sword. Arsonist. Oh, do you just use a flamethrower <laughs> the entire time? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Without a sword, but with bombs, bow. Uh, I am error. Yeah. The whole game is sped up. No. Okay, story mode. When the prophet... Prophesied hero fails, Lena is forced to take up the mantle. And we'll just be Lena because, I mean, it's her inception. <laughs> Wait, the world seed? Yeah, so like I said, it's procedurally generated. So what, Ab do, we, what do we name this world? What do we name the world? Hmm. Wait, what? Stocks? No. We should name it something else. Hmm. Wait, we're not naming it. Stop! How do we? How about we call it like Enoria? That just sounds cool. Okay. Oh. Inoria? I said Enoria. I, when I, I pronounce my eyes very A-ish. I said Enoria. E-N? Yes. I mean, we could call it Enoria. That sounds fine. Do you like Enoria, Enoria, or I Enoria? Freaking, there's, English is stupid. And if I, <laughs> if I make the mistake... Wrong. Oh, what? Are we a teacher? teacher? Potentially. Look at all those little kids. Look at them fooling around in their chairs, scratching their... Wait, no. That one's not scratching their back. They actually just have a, a Santa hat? What are they up to? It... Uh... Uh-oh. Okay. Um, Maybe we can't play with controllers? We should be able to. I can't imagine. But it's not taking anything. Can I... Okay. So it looks like controller support is limited. Dang it. Oh. All right. Um, so if we want to do co-op, then I'm going to have to go no. on another computer. If, if, if we want to do co-op, we're just going to film this for a bit. And then uh, I'll go bug the devs. Because I'm on the Discord and I can be like, why no controller support? Actually, I mean, I can check that real quick right now. Okay, we solved the puzzle. It's because Shell's actually player one. I'm I turned player on one. your. I controlled. Uh, turned on your controller early. Well, if you want to play, you're welcome to play. Otherwise, I can take over for now. For the time being. Okay, so. Can we. Okay, we can use. We What's can up use with that this? hole in the floor? Uh. Or, wait, is that. Yeah, it's something? a hole in the floor. Hmm. Oh, new item. Broken yardstick. Press A to fend off monsters with this stick. What about the chillins? What are they doing in here? 
Crab is busy blowing bubbles and spitting at the floor. Well, I'm giving up on these children. Well, They're doomed. Well, well, hey, let's see what the other ones are up to. Hattie's essay explains why she wants to become a police officer. Aw, that's not nice. This student has a stack of borrowed library books on her desk. Some of them are long overdue. Aw, well that's good, she's a bookworm. A spreadsheet details the student's investments in various stocks. Really? Aren't you a little too young for that? This desk is made out of a different type of wood from the others. Luchus made it himself. Tarot cards cover the desk. The death and tower cards lie face up. <gasps> Current spying target, Miss Lena. Or Lena? Do you want to call her Lena or Lena? And there's two N's, so I'm assuming Lena. Lena? No, that makes sense. Miss Lena. Her routine has her hunting exclusively between 12 a.m. and 4 a.m. You'll seem wary of her. Isn't she lonely? 12 and 4 a.m.? So maybe she goes out at night to slay monsters? I guess. This student has drawn up a design for a unique machine that can automatically sort the various items dropped by monsters. So this is- I don't from... think these kids need a teacher. Well, so- Wait, is this our room? Why is there a scythe? Hold up. What? Hmm. I'm not going to need this. I feel like I'm missing some key details here. It could just be one of those one-room schoolhouse deals where... Oh no. What's but? what's wrong with her house? Huh? Uh, no! My students! What was that? So What wait, what's Come that back. person doing? Lance is cool, but Stiletto is still my favorite hero. What? Wait, what? Oh. It's dangerous to go alone. Oh no! The Elder! This is... Is this the village Elder? He's not breathing. Henrietta the Chicken started following you. Oh, Henrietta was carrying something. Pet whistle. Send away or call back your pet. Wait, so let me get this straight. You lived in a schoolhouse. You were teaching your students. Exit for one reason or another. There was a weird scythe in your house. And there were holes in the floor. And you leave. It's clear that you do monster hunting during the night. Monsters are a facet of the world. That young child was even crafting monst um, a monster loot sorter it's dangerous to go al and then we see an apparition of death yeah it is and the chicken specifically fetched you i guess so it's now our pet but this guy is warning us about the dangers of al so if we meet anybody named al we need to stay away from them huh that outfit you must be the hero kid i i get the feeling the elder wanted you to have this what are you doing? You could hurt yourself. Mm. <sighs> Fine. Oh, right. I should probably make Link sets. <laughs> I'll show you how to use that blade. If you complete a quest for me. I need you to rescue my students. <laughs> Just let me deal with the monsters for now. Come on. I'll take you to the tutorial area. Hi! There's a slume? A slime? Okay. New item. Uh, bicycle? Open, Open your... Oh, uh, wait. Really? Oh, this is your... It's quick travel. This I like that. This is quick that. travel as opposed to using the bicycle a la Pokemon style. We'll have our tutorial in here. But first, let's explore a bit to find somewhere safe. Hi! New item. Dungeon map. So you're using your yardstick to fight. Pretty much. Why are there trees in here? Yeah, I think they wouldn't be able to grow, but...
Wait, a bunch of ice and a bunch of skulls? What is this? Dungan. Clearly. Wait, what's that green thing over on the left? It's a goop fountain. Why are we not giving these things to the hero kid? Yeah, it's yeah. it's huh. It's just goop. This room looks safe enough. Using your sword is simple. There are two main modes of attack. The first is slashing. To do that, press and release the A button. Like this. Good. Now try holding... Uh. A slime dropped on his head and killed wow. it outright! That's... Uh. Power of Fortitude. One of the fabled four powers. With this power, every conflict you survive will make you stronger. Uh. And a phone? Hero's telephone has a full battery and two out of five bars of signal. Hero's sword. It's Lance's sword. The sharp edge on it is perfect for cutting things. Henrietta looks clucking mad. That's right, Henrietta. She just has no reaction. He's just dead. Cool. Okay, thanks. Stuff's mine now. Hey, you would have thought there'd be a little bit more exposition there. Way to go. I... Yeah. I... I, I would have expected some level of like, Oh! Oh no! But no, it's very much just like a, well... This Wait, is those are eyes. Are you do you have to get them on the spots with the yeah. Yep. That closes them. Cool. Oh, skeletons. Uh, let's see. Oh, you, yeah. you do have a shield? Yeah, yeah, we picked it up in a previous chamber. Oh nice. Looks like a Wander. Perfect fit for the blue door. You're not letting me read anything. I'm sorry. It doesn't seem like an important thing to have you read. Mm -hmm. Archangel Azraphael, Knight of Death. Uh, Archangel Azraphael. Flail. Okay. I was gonna, I thought I saw. I was looking at them like Azraphael. Azraf. Oh, Azraphael. Yeah, I didn't see the L. Yeah. But no, it would make sense if he ha has a flail with him. Imposter, thou shalt be vanquished, fiend! <laughs> Whoops, that's the wrong button. Oh. Ow. He has to go pick it up again. So I think... Maybe... I think I just have to wreck his flail. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you can actually hit his flail, though. I think while his arms are down. Even when we were listening to the trailer, I thought that that particular yeah. theme was really catchy. Yeah. And there he goes. Classic Mega Man death. Well. Multiple explosions. No other way. Archangel Heart. This heart permanently increases your fortitude. Oh, corrupted memory number zero was restored. The hero fortitude. Hi! <laughs> Lance! Your mo mother sacrificed herself to get me out, but even she couldn't save me. Oh, my dear Stiletto. It's my fault I couldn't have sent you on such a risky mission. There's no way you could have known. I've never seen... Archangel's so vicious. I think they were protecting something. Lance, today you become the hero of fortitude. Ha! <laughs> I know, I know, but only a few people in the world can hold a power like this, and you're the last in our line. Your mother would be so proud of you. 
Yeah, the traditional garb. Jesse, look after Lance. He's just a boy. I'll keep him safe as long as I'm breathing. Goodbye, lad. Look after the prince and the kingdom. He'll need you one day. Hey! Bring, bring. Lance, I wanted you wanted to keep you from danger for a few more years. But I failed. I speak to you now from beyond the veil. Huh? The undead forces of the chairman of the Bankers Guild have snatched the prince from his throne. With his thoughtless actions, the chairman has destroyed the fragile balance of power that keeps all world from descending into chaos and corruption. It's time to take your first steps towards your de destiny and become the hero you were born to be. Seek out the librarian. She has knowledge of the four hidden dungeons of this I island. Defeat the evil within them and become stronger. When you've done that, I will send my acolyte to fill you in on the next steps. New contact, Elder. Call this person using the telephone in your inventory. Wait, you can... He's of some spirit beyond the veil and you can still speak with him through the telephone? I oh. guess so. Chaos and corruption. Is that what happened to my school? B. Not Ten bad. bucks. Oh, it's a coin purse. That's what it is. Henrietta looks clucking mad. He still is. I'm curious if pets have any actual use. I really hope that she'll attack something for you. That Maybe be even a... save you in a cutscene. I could imagine That's... Henrietta being a guardian like that. that. Equipment. Your sword, nothing. Key items, memory. Oh, so we have a number of other memories to acquire. Telephone number, Elder. Defeat the evil within the four dungeons of this island. The librarian can direct you to them. So I want to test a thing. Nope, that's not it. I want to see. So it looks like we've got to unlock uh, co-op before we can actually get to it. Oh. That's fine. I will quickly absorb currency. Uh, let's see. Oh, Whenever I see phone numbers in games, I feel bad for them because I know that whoever owns well, that phone number is going to get calls. 555 five, five numbers are fake. Oh, really? Yeah. You can't have a 555 five, five No one number. can have a 555? Five, five, five? Correct. Interesting. Honoria Library. Well, we found the librarian. Um. Ah! Uh, uh, a new face. I can hardly believe it. After all these years in these, on this tiny little island, someone I've never met before. What? You live next door. So, uh, what can I do you for? Whoa, that sounds crazy. Give me your phone, and I'll program the dungeons into it. Here you go. It looks like your next dungeon is the Dree Botanical Woods. In the east. Who knows? Maybe you'll find one of your children there. No, I'm pretty sure my students are stuck in the school. I have my number as well. Feel free to call me at any time. Page with a heart at the end. Oh, and keep your eyes peeled for overdue library books while you're out. Find them all, and you'll get into my good books. <laughs> sure thing. I know that a number of them are with that one student. I'm really confused, though. Wouldn't they know each other? Oh, if she's got a Her being a chamber. teacher, you would think that she would have a working relationship yeah. with the librarian. Huh. Like, I, I feel like this should have been like, uh... Bear. Hey, hey a Paige. Bear man. Yeah, unfortunately he's going faster than I can move. We are not a very zippy zippy thing unfortunately but yeah I, I absolutely would have just like walked up and just been like oh meteor meteors came from outer space if you gather a bunch of these maybe you can make something but it's something out of a special iron i feel like that should have just been like hey uh page my school's messed up and the hero is dead and page is like 
Well, shoot. Oh, you got his stuff. Okay, let's figure this out. As opposed to, like, you're someone new, even though you live two screens away! Find my books! She wasn't even directing you to the four powers. Oh. What? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Authors. P.H. Craftlove. H.P. <laughs> Lovecraft, right? Mm hmm. G.G. Ernest. Tombs and Tentacles is an eldritch horror game that you can play with your friends. It is directly inspired by the works of P.H. Craftlove. The game requires one dungeon master who controls the game world and the non-player characters and PCs. The player characters are normally controlled by two or more players, but certain scenarios, if the DM is prepared, can be played by a single character on their own. As is the fashion for Craftlove's horror stories, there are no happy endings. Be prepared to die, or worse, in many different ways. For a free demonstration of tombs and tentacles... By the way, this goes on for eight pages. Oh, really? But it's almost done. Oh, it's it's stat sheets and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Call 555-6666. Ernest will answer the call and act as the DM for you while you decide what your player character will do. Common criticism of the game is that its rules are very complex, sometimes requiring non-integer in non sided dice. This is unavoidable due to the nature of the game. Each of the four player characters available in the demo have four stats. These are printed here for your convenience. Jerry, human, waiter. Wait, okay, interesting. So he's actually pretty sane and of moderate intelligence, but might and speed might change over time. Sally is a smart monster of a telemarketer. <laughs> James is, is very mighty and sucks otherwise. Tamson squid? is a squid, <laughs> sports, squid ball player. sports ball player. He's immensely fast, but moderate, moderately sane. Wait. Note that although Jerry's might and speed stats are the lowest in the game, he can augment these by stacking plates. This comes at the cost of some sanity. When played well, he's the most powerful character available. What? Well, so when he's forced to do his waiting job, yeah, he starts to lose his cool because he's doing this monotonous thing that he doesn't want to be. Oh, bear. Bear? Tears of Honoria, give me the creeps. Go down one ladder, and end up, uh, then up another, and end up miles away. That don't make sense. New item, meteor. Yep. Yep. I've seen a number of those. Wait, that guy just hopped over. Well, it's nice to see more NPCs in the environment. The like life of the humble villager surely is an easy one. Oh, is this... Oh, so it is him talking. Sorry. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Well... If you ignore the constant threat of deadly monsters, that is. How did you hop? I just didn't know. There's often times where the main character is observing. As opposed to actually talking with someone. Chameleon wizards. What? It's a lizard wizard. It's oh, so a wizard lizard. So it's generating a dungeon for you. Nope. Oh, boy. Oh, what is this? Uh, Authors? Diary? Oh, diary. Oh, it's, this it's is a the diary. Author. 2019 05 It's been 26 years since I released The Legend of Lance. I've been thinking about it a lot lately. I've released a few games since then, but none of them have quite the same level of success. I made contact with my old pub publishing manager today. Apparently, a copy of The Legend of Lance was on board the Space Sign capsule. When it was launched, in 40 years' time, if there are any intelligent beings near Alpha Centauri, they'll be able to play a very glitchy copy of the game I made. Cosmic Razor, no, no joke. <laughs> Wait, so is this it? The glitchy version of Legend of Lance? Oh, that would be interesting. Frozen what? District of Guilt. Oh. This I, is a girl or a guy? I stumbled into this cave by accident. It was scary at first, but I have so much cool loot now. Caves are dangerous, though. Cave monsters grow up drinking all the potions you find underground. I know, maybe this will help you. A runny purple potion. Drink it to find out what it does. Well, good luck! Wait, so potions are found underground? I, I guess. What is this? I don't know. I'm confused. This, this game is... 
Or maybe the logic of the world is starting to deteriorate from the glitches. Yeah. So, you know how yesterday we were playing Koromon and your complaint was like, man, this is just Pokemon. This is what happens when you go the opposite direction. Make a game very much like, hey, I want to make a Zelda game. And then you're like, but then it would be just a Zelda game. All right, let's just make it nuts. <laughs> and here we are. I'll give credit. It's charming. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go take a look at the options real quick. Can I turn? Yeah, let's turn off the CRT filter. That's better. That's so much better. What happened? You know those lines that were covering everything so it kind of looks extra pixely? For some reason the screen looks worse to me right now. <laughs> hey. This is the CRT filter. Okay. Oh! Oh, do you know what, I s what it is? Hmm? I can see the pixels. Oh. With the CRT screen, I can see every, you know, every, all the pixels are clearly delineated. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I do not like seeing the pixels. Now everything looks so flat. I'm curious if we actually get to do anything with Henrietta, or if she just exists. So when it changed it, it added the grid, but then it also... Did it slightly change the color tone, and then had the screen curved slightly? Yeah. And with it... Yeah, to make it seem glowing. like a tube TV. It really added a lot of depth. Yeah. I prefer this, though. The other style is just hard on my eyes. Oh, what goody does this get us? Amulet, Amulet of strength. strength. Left to have the objects. Oh, wait, so like... Maybe a rock. Oh, uh, you know what? I probably have to equip it. Do I? It looks like it's already equipped. But those are trees. You can't push a bush. Oh, yeah. Maybe skulls? Ah. There you go. Okay, there we go. There's our answer. Reminds you of randomized Zelda runs. I think that's the point, though. Like, this is this is supposed to be kind of like a Zelda randomizer. It's its own thing. I uh, I can, can pick these up, though. Yeah, rocks are still They're, beyond you. Those are too heavy. Reverence for the dead? Bah. I don't teach that in my school! <laughs> so are there just skeletons and lines? Or what what is that? A crab? Crab! Crab. Not anymore though. It is quite dead. I have no idea what we are going to use money for, but Hopefully, by the time we're done with this, I'm going to be rich and we can we can afford things. So, could I be a Henrietta? Uh, I don't think so. I was trying to, yeah, take the controller, see what you can do with it. My assumption is, it said when I was reading the uh, the information, local co-op, we have to find Shadow Lena. Yeah. So, presumably, there's some kind of, like, evil double. Of course, like Shadow Link. Eat skull, jerk. Which, like, going from, um... Is that, a, is that a door that you need to unlock? Yeah. Oh, there's the key. But there's the key. That's easy. Yeah, going from, uh... We've actually played a lot of old-school Zelda-likes in the last year or so, because we had Cadence of Hyrule. We had, uh... Link's but that Awakening. was licensed, so that it would... Yeah. Yeah, so this Zelda is stuff. this is more unofficial. Though I, I'd say this still does kind of enough. I mean, this is just what what you can achieve with pixels in an environment like this that's like hack and slash. What, what's the perspective called? Isometric, more but or it's less? it's not really isometric. It's not quite. It's, it's something else when you have a screen and it's top down. Uh-oh. Whoa. Archangel Hedraniel. Rock noggin. Rock noggin. You are not her. I am not a fan of this. Oh, you have to throw things at him. Yep. Fell into the pit. That's bad. I'm just chucking 
bits at this sucker. Why is he throwing body parts at you? I... I love the Atari sound effects. That explosion is just oh. right out of... I have to huck him back in the pit. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> Corrupted memory number one was restored. Ooh, Archangel who? <sighs> Those pesky humans should have killed me in my pupa form. With this power I've stolen, I will create my new disciples. I'll never be alone again! Ah. Uh, so he dispersed the archangels? Apparently so. Bring, bring. Help me, lads! Please, help me! I'm imprisoned in the palace dungeon! The chairman of the Bankers Guild has foreclosed on my kingdom! Oh, I fear for the safety of my subjects! Please, help me! Hmm. If Lance can't help him, maybe I can. Uh, never really finished this dungeon. Plus, there was the lower level. There's some stuff here. Admittedly, a lot of it is probably just going to be finances. Mm, mm hmm But, I don't know. It looks like... We haven't, we haven't found any puzzles yet. No, I'm curious how puzzly things would get. This might be a little bit more combat-centric. Which I'm kind of fine with. It means we get through things faster. Which is, I don't know, becoming more important for me. Because this is actually... I'm curious about this. I hope they they take the the premise. Uh, I hope they take the premise further, with the whole like things glitching out and, and stuff. Because mm -hmm. I really like the idea of games where like things just start breaking down as you go along. Like what games have done that, where reality itself starts like disintegrating well, as you sphere. play through it. Yeah, Lost Sphere to a lesser degree. A lot of it, it, though, was restoring it. Yeah. And, like, I'm thinking of, I'm trying to think of games where, like... But to an extent, when we were playing Oninaki, we couldn't go into the shadows, right? Yeah, but that... That's only part of it. I... Mm -hmm. So, um... Part of the reason why I bring this up is back when I was, uh... First getting into like uh, let's plays and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, the first let's plays were actually text based. Uh, let's see, Doki Doki Li Literature Club uh, would probably be a good example. Yeah, that's a good one because um, you actually have to delete a character to beat that game. Like go into the the file folder management uh, and mm -hmm. delete somebody. Um, the kind of villain that goes, ah, you can't possibly defeat me. Yep. You have to change reality itself. And <laughs> then you do. And they're like, oh, What is this thing? It almost looks like you're supposed to put something inside it. Yeah. Or maybe it's a button. Maybe you should have put a I skull or something on I'm top of it. I'm pretty sure I threw something at it. Uh, let's see. But... Uh, let's see, what was I going to say? But yeah, one of the uh, one of the first text-based LPs I, I ever read, and probably one of the only ones that I ever finished, was on a guy that was uh, hacking... I think it was Pokemon Blue or something? Um, but... So you know how Pokemon Blue is super glitchy and stuff. So... Uh, no, I... If I didn't read about glitches, I probably never would have encountered one. Wow, that was just a hundred bucks. Um, okay. Well... For the most part, nobody ran into the bugs, but there were some really easily abused glitches and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, and let's see. Uh, and so like, effectively, this guy was going through Pokemon Blue, You're glitching not going down the ladder. Uh, I wanna, I wanna clear out this map first, and then ah. we go down. Um. But effectively, the guy was going through the entire game, glitching it out as hard as he could to see what he could get away with. 
And he had like a bunch of sp speedrunner techniques and some other things. But he was still playing fairly... Uh, he was still fa playing fairly to like... Normally, still clearing all of the gyms and so on and so forth. Sorry that I'm destroying all of these things, it's just money. Mm, no, I mean, you did find a ladder beneath one. Yeah, so. true. Also 100 bucks, so there's that. Hopefully the ladder remains un uncovered, then we know where it is, so it's not that big of, de big of a deal. Ah! Okay, so there's another puzzle. But, so, uh, the playthrough didn't really have an ending, from what I remember. All I remember is that the game glitched out so hard that the guy could no longer play. And to the point where, like, he was walking around in a white void, and mm -hmm. all of the Pokemon were missing nose and or, like, Q-bones or something. Yeah. And, like, you could see, like, phantom copies of the player character and some other things. Which is, uh, suffi suffice to say, super nightmare fuel. Uh, and I've always wanted to play a game that has that, like, written into it in a substantive manner. Oh. That one singular stone is one of those eye things. Yeah. So maybe we opened it. Yeah, or it was just already handled. Unsure. Mm -hmm. These enemies are chumps. Uh, let's see. Five Nights at Freddy's had a glitch end. Yeah, but I have no interest in Five Nights at Freddy's. Are there seriously no other major games that we know about that have, like, glitch story plot lines and stuff? You'd probably have to look into ones that are based off of MMOs or game. Oh, um, did CrossCode have any glitches? Uh. Oh, there was the guy that intentionally made glitching occur. Yeah, and I thought that was good, but it wasn't that it, like, broke hard. Undertale plays around with it a little bit, especially towards the end, but that was just because Flowey was, you know, powerful and abusing things. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, Secret Cave, but this is actually a really good stopping point, at least for now, so I guess let's talk a couple of things. So first and foremost, I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, I'm pretty sure I didn't, uh, but thank you to the developers of London Inception for giving us this, this preview copy to take a look at the game. Uh, it's pretty good. I like the old-school Zelda stuff, and the bosses are downright fantastic. Same thing with music. Uh, the rest of it didn't capture us as much, but, I mean, that's mainly, I think, just because I'm absolutely spoiled for choice, and that's a serious issue uh, that I guess I have to get around. But one way or another, uh, so Lenda's Inception comes out on January 17th, so in two days from this video going out, and we're going to have episodes going up, up, up until then of us just running around. Uh, we did end up getting co-op working in the middle of next episode. Uh, we had to go fight a mid-boss, quote-unquote, and that unlocked it properly. So we could actually do two-player uh, running around and mostly defoliating the world. There is There are a lot of bushes, and there's a lot of money hidden in those bushes. And boy, we found some serious wealth in doing so. But anyway... So, it's going to be on Steam, it's already on itch.io, and I'm pretty sure it's 10 bucks. I could be wrong on that one, but I that's that's the price point that, that jangles around in my head, so I'm going to stick with that until I'm terribly, horribly wrong, but whatever. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, that's about all the information that I have that I didn't quite include in this video, because we just got kind of distracted with the game itself, and also just getting rid of anything that we could possibly destroy in our way. So, I guess with that, if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave us a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, we've got a couple more episodes in the pipeline. And then a whole boatload of other indie games that might interest you as well. So, I guess until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.